welcome to Personal Finance with Darcy. I am so excited to have you here today where I'm gonna help put money in your pocket. So today we are gonna talk about how to buy an option contract, which is super exciting. We're gonna buy this option contract on Robinhood. I believe Robinhood is the best, the best platform to buy options. It makes the process seamless, easy, straightforward, and I don't get anxiety by trying to buy an option and think I'm gonna lose it all. There's so many people that say options are risky, options are like this and that, and say a bunch of negative things, but options for me allows me to take low risk decisions and make a lot of money off of it, unlike just buying stocks. So I get so much and more through options and I wanna share with you all how to buy an option. So right here, we're on the home page of Robinhood. Very seamless, very straightforward. You see the amount of money that you have and the overall progress of your account. And so right now I have about 995 or 96 dollars in the account. And if you scroll down, you can see some of the stocks that I own. These are just two of the free stocks that I got from referring a friend. And then if you keep scrolling down, you can see some of my watch lists. So I do have a cryptocurrency watch list. I do have an ETF watch list. So I really, really, really wanted to invest my money in long-term assets in different accounts. So I did convert a 401k to a Roth IRA back in 2020 and so I'm gonna come out with a video on that but that was a process in and of itself and so definitely that's something on my watch list watching good ETFs that can give me a pretty decent return and have good dividends and so that's why I have those watch lists and then we have Apple Apple is my pride and joy. It is a beauty and Apple is where I plan on taking $250 to 10K with for the year of 2021. And so I have a full-time job, but I'm gonna make it happen. I honestly could have already made it happen if I would have taken more chances and been riskier or I could have lost my whole entire account. You have to balance those risks. And so I've been very risk adverse with this whole entire strategy of taking 250 to 10K. And so I will share that in some other videos, but yes, for this video, just buying an option. So you should have whatever company, whatever ETF you're interested in on a watch list. As you see here, I have my watch list. Before you can buy an option, you do have to pass the questionnaire. So I'm just gonna leave this here for you. You're going to click the stock or ETF that you're interested in. And then I'm personally gonna click Apple. And then once I click into it, I'm gonna see the chart. And so then I'm gonna click the trade button and then I'm gonna say trade options. And then after I click trade options, then I'm going to see the discover page. And on the discover page, it has different breakdowns of what a covered call is, what a call option is, just all the different things that you need to know. I highly, highly recommend you reading the Discover page. It's very helpful to understand options in general, okay? So once you read all of that, then you can click on different time windows. So you can do a week out, you can do a month out, you can do several months out. You get to determine what you wanna do. I personally, I only trade on a weekly basis for Apple call options or put options. And so then I would choose that time window. Then after you choose the time window, then choosing whether you wanna buy a call or put, I would scroll down, select the strike price that you want, click into it. And then once you see a strike price that you want, I would click into it. Then I would look at the data inside of it, but if you've already looked at that, and I can post some other videos on what exactly is the information within buying a call option or just an option in general. And so once you review all of that, everything looks good to go. Then you're gonna click into the strike price, and then you're gonna select how many contracts you want. And then you also get to see how much you want to pay for it. And you can look at the bid and ask. And so typically you would put in the ask so that you can make sure that you get it. But if you wanna put it in a little bit lower, then you might not, or you might have that contract fulfilled. So you're, so you're taking a chance if you don't put in the ask, which is the willingness of people who want to sell that option to you. Okay, and so that's the price they want for 
them to sell that option to you. And so then you click how much you want to pay for it. And then as you see, the cost is whatever that number is times 100. And then after you do that, then you can click review. Make sure you read out the contract details to make sure everything looks good to go. And then just swipe up to submit. That's you buying your first call or put option. And so for newbies or beginners, I recommend buying calls or buying put options. Just plain and simple, buying them straight up and then selling them before expiration in order to make money hopefully from that. And so that's what I recommend for new people who are just getting started with options. Okay, I hope that helped and I cannot wait to see you next time on Personal Finance with Darcy. Peace, see you next time and stay building. Bye.